And tonight we're looking into the number of officer involved shootings here in our area. 10 News reporter Duke Carter is working for you to break down some of the cases that have made headlines. Duke. Hey, good evening, Rachel. Well, yeah, it may seem like there's been an increase because we've reported on several officer involved shootings within the last year. Now, according to our records, Lynchburg had some of the highest numbers in our area with five incidents last year. The most recent was in November, where a police shot a man stabbing a woman to death in the Boonesboro area. But perhaps the most notable was when Ashley Biggs Neely was shot twice in May and September, both times after allegedly charging at officers with the knives. Meanwhile, in the Allegheny Highlands area, there have been at least three incidents where law enforcement opened fire. Just this past week, deputies shot a man after a traffic stop led to a pursuit and standoff at a home in Covington. Then in December last month, a 24 year old was shot in a dollar store parking lot for allegedly attacking a Clifton Forge police officer. Earlier in 2023, in June, a man was shot and killed during a domestic incident at an apartment complex, and it was later ruled justified. Roanoke also saw a number of officer involved shootings with two incidents in December. That includes the death of a homicide suspect who shot a cop outside Melrose Towers and a sex offender who was shot by U.S. Marshals serving an arrest warrant in the Grandin area. Now we checked with Virginia State Police to gather numbers for 2023 and saw that as of now, they have not yet been released. However, for 2022, there were 43 officer involved shootings across the Commonwealth with 10 of those in our area. Then there were 30 incidents in 2021 with six here in our area as well. In studio, I'm Duke Carter, 10 News, working for you.